Now we're going to talk about logic gates. Logic gates are the basic stuff that we use when we build up logic circuits. They're the smallest unit that we're going to work with. So here are all the logic gates, and you need to be familiar with them. These ones up here, these are the standard basic gates, and you really need to know these ones. So this is a NOT gate. It's written as NOT A. So A goes in and you invert it out. So if A is 1, you get a 0 out. This is AND. It's written this way, A and B. This is OR, A or B. There are a bunch of other gates down here that are less common in this class, but are actually very common when you build things. So NAND gates here, NOT AND, you can see it's NOT A and B, is a very common gate in logic design because you can build it very quickly with transistors. It can run fast. If you look at these gates down here, XOR and XNOR, these are used to compare things. So XOR says that A and B are different, and XNOR says that A and B are the same. So these gates are used all over the place, but these ones up here, the basic NOT, this is an inverter, AND and OR, are the gates that you should really make sure you know for this class. So now we've got logic gates, and you sort of have an intuitive feeling for what they are, but how do we formally define that? Well, that's what a truth table does. It defines the output of a gate for all possible input combinations. So let's take a look at that for AND. Here's our AND gate, and here's the truth table for an AND gate. You can see here are two inputs, A and B, and all the possible combinations of A and B, and we specify the output. So here's A and B. You can see they're the inputs to the gate, and here's our output, out. Now this is an AND gate, so it should only be true when both A and B are true. And if you look at the truth table, that's what you see. Here A is true, AND B is true, and the output is true. Everywhere else the output is false, so this is an AND gate. And we can go through and define our truth tables for all other sorts of gates that we have. If you look at OR over here, you see that OR is true whenever A or B are true. Here both A and B are true, but that's okay. Their OR is also true. You can see down here if you look at other gates, so here's XOR. XOR is true when A and B are different, so 0, 1, or 1, 0, but it's false when they're the same, both 1's or both zeros. And XNOR is the opposite of that. So it's true when A and B are the same, so 0, 0, or 1, 1. Now let's take a look at this in LogiSim, which is the simulator that you're going to be using in class. So here's LogiSim, and we're going to go and we're going to start, and we're going to create an AND gate. So click on the AND gate and put it out there. And you'll notice this AND gate has a whole bunch of inputs here. We just want two of them. So we go down over here, and we choose number of outputs, and we're going to change that to two. So now we've got two outputs for two inputs for our AND gate. And now we need an input. So here's an input. Go ahead and put the input in our circuit. I'm going to go down here and label the input A. We're going to get another input, put it in our circuit, label that input B. Now we're going to hook them up to our AND gate. So here's A, and here's B. Wire it up to our AND gate. And now we need an output. So here's an output. Stick it over here, connect it up, and we'll call this output X. So there's our circuit. Now we want to see how this circuit works, so we go up to simulate, we make sure simulation is enabled, and we start out by resetting our simulation. Now we can use the hand tool to adjust things. So you see if A is 0 and B is 0, A and B gives us an output of 0. I can change the input of A to 1 by clicking on it, and now we see 1 and 0 is 0. We change the input of B to 1, now we have 1 and 1, and the output is 1. So this AND gate's working correctly. If both the inputs are true, the output is true as well. So we went through how the truth tables are defined. So now I want to do a survey here to see what your background is on this material. How much logic design have you done before this class? So there's no right answer to this. This was a survey. We're assuming you haven't seen any logic for this class, but if you have seen some, it'll make the labs easier.